Welcome to Learn Yourself. Think, discuss and write. Our first question is, can you have triangle with two right angles? All these three questions are based on angle sum property of the triangle. Now, first of all, what is angle sum property of a triangle? Then triangles, all three angles addition will be 180 degree. So when we are adding the measures of all the three angles of the triangle, it should be 180 degree and not more than or less than 180 degree. Based on this property, we are going to answer all these questions. So first question is, can you have a triangle with two right angles? Now right angles measure is 90 degree. Now if we are having two right angles in one triangle, for example, angle A and angle B, both are having 90 degree, then addition of both of this angle will be 180 degree. Then what will be the measure of angle C? So any triangle cannot have two right angles. Only one right angle can be possible in a triangle. Our second question, can you have a triangle with two obtuse angle? Now what is obtuse angle? Obtuse angle is measure of the angle will be greater than 90 degree. Now two obtuse angle means if the angles are more than 90 degree, for example, angle A is 91 degree and angle B is also 91 degree, then addition of this two angle will be more than 180 degree. So that is not going to possible when we are talking about angle sum properties. So two obtuse angle is also not possible in a triangle. Then third question, can you have a triangle with two acute angles? Now, what is the acute angle? Acute angle is measure of the angle will be less than 90 degree. So yes, any triangle can have two acute angles because if we are guessing that angle A equals to 70 degree, which is acute angle B equals to 60 degree, then addition of this two angle will be 130 degree. So still we can have some measures for angle C and that will make sum of all the angles will be equal to 180 degree. So any triangle can have two acute angles in that. Two acute angles can be possible in a triangle. Our fourth question is, can you have a triangle with all the three angles greater than 60 degree? No, because when we will divide 180 degree with three, we will only get 60 degree maximum possibility for all the three angles to be similar. Now, if we are drawing the triangle like this in which the measure of the angles are similar, that means angle A equals to angle B equals to angle C. So, what can be the maximum measure of these three angles when they are similar? So, for that we need to divide this 180 degree with three because we know that all the three angles addition should be 180 degree. So this gives us 60 degree when we will divide this. That means when all the angles measure possible for all the angle is 60 degree. This is the maximum possible measure when all the three angles are similar. It cannot be more than 60 degree. Our fifth question. Can you have a triangle with all the three angles equals to 60 degree? So yes. All the three angles can be equals to 60 degree if this is our triangle A, B and C. If we are adding them, then it will give us 180 degree. So yes, it is possible. Sixth question is, can you have a triangle with all the three angles less than 60 degree? So no, it is not possible because when we will divide 180 degree with three because we have three angles in a triangle then we will get 60 degree if we are taking measure less than 60 degree for example and in that the total will not be 180 degree so according to the angle sum property this is not possible so let us assume this case in which one angle is less than 60 degree then in that case if one angle is 40 degree then other angle has to be 80 degree and then the third angle can be 60 degree. So if one angle is less than 60 degree, then other angle should be more than 60 degree. Then only the total for all these three angles will be 180 degree. And then only it is according to the angle sum property. 
but all the three angles cannot be lesser than 60 degree. So thank you for watching and learning with us. If you have any doubt, please comment down below. I'll see you in next video. Till then, keep learning, keep sharing. And don't forget to subscribe, learn yourself.